In this video, you are going to learn how to solve problems involving dimension of physical quantities for your jam physics. So we are going to practice with seven repeated questions for this topic. So let's get started with the first one I have here. Alright, so it says, which of the following is the dimension of pressure? Okay, so let's determine this. Pressure, the formula is force over area okay so dimension of force is ml t to power negative 2 all right over area is length times breadth or length times width, which is length square law of index division law we have the length the base is the same so what you do and this is dividing we have division here what you do now will be to subtract the power so we're going to have m l the power here is one minus two bar times square all right so this is the same thing as m l negative one per time square so the correct option to this question is what option d so it's as simple as this let's wipe this and solve the next repeated question all right so the next video question will be this question it says which of the following is the dimension of pressure okay i think we have solved this question now the first one is just finished solving the correct option is option c so let's go to the next one so it says the values of x y and z respectively in the expression this expression for the universal gravitational constant g uh, all right so this question is actually very simple the correct option to this question will be option a all right so the gravitational constant universal gravitational constant g has its dimension to be m to the power negative one l to the power theory and t to the power negative 2 so this is the universal gravitational constant dimension so take note of this this particular one optum times does not fail to appear in jam physics so take note of this dimension of universal gravitational constant very very important when i wrote my jam exam in my physics questions i saw this particular question so it often times comes out so take notes of this all right so that's it for this question let's wipe this and go to the next repeated question all right so the next question will be this it says at what respective values of x y and z would the units of force the newton be dimensionally equivalent to this okay so all you need is a dimension of force we have force the formula is mass times acceleration so dimension is to be mass times now dimension of acceleration acceleration is velocity over time that's basically the dimension is length per time square so when you bring everything together we're going to have ml t to the power negative 2 the dimension of force so for what we have here the power of the m is 1 the power of the l is 1 the power of the t is negative 2 so you cannot decode the answer the correct option is what option a all right so that's it for this question let's wipe this now solve the next repeated question okay so the next repeated question will be this question it says create the following dimensions represents impulse okay so as we all know the formula for impulse is force times time so impulse equals force times time all right and you know that the dimension of force is m l per time square times extra time so when you bring everything together you're going to have this t the base is the same law of indices multiplication law you are going to add the 
powers so this will give us m l t minus 2 the power of this t here is 1 plus 1 so the final result will be m l t minus 2 plus 1 give you minus 1 okay so that will be the dimension of impulse for this question so the correct option is option a okay so it's as simple as this now guys if you don't actually understand the fundamentals of this dimension i have a separate video in this channel where i dealt in details dimension of physical quantities okay i recommend that you should watch that video if you don't understand the basics watch that video i took my time to explain the fundamentals in that video check the physics playlist of this channel the mechanisms and properties of matter playlist you are going to see my video on dimension of physical quantities watch it now you understand the basics the foundation of this dimension it will go a long way to help you out very very important all right so having known that let's write this and solve the next repeated question okay guys so the next repeated question we're going to solve will be this question it says the dimension of electromotive force is so guys take note the dimension of electromotive force this is another question just like universal gravitational constant dimension also take note of this one for electromotive force we have the correct dimension to be m l to the power 2 t to the power negative theory we have current to the power negative 1 okay so this is the dimension of electromotive force this is the correct one take note of this when i also with my jam design doing my physics i also came across this particular question so take note of this this is the correct dimension of electromotive force very very important the correct option this question is option c all right so that's it all right so let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question so the next repeated question we're going to solve will be this question it says the expression this expression when a equals 1 b equals 2 and c equals negative 2 is the dimension of what so guys looking at this question i can easily decode that the correct option will be option c energy all right so energy has the same dimension as work so dimension of work work equals force times distance okay so dimension of force is ml t to the power negative 2 times this distance is length so when you bring everything together the length we have the same base so a lot of indices you add the power so this will give you m l 1 plus 1 t to the power negative 2 final result will be m l to the power negative 2 power times square so from this our value of n the power is 1 the l power is 2 and the t power is negative 2 so the correct option is what option c which is energy energy has the same dimension as work so that's it for this question now let's write this and solve the last repeated question let's write this so the last repeated question will be this question it says the correct unit of energy density is what guys also take note of this particular question so the correct unit of energy density is basically this option a i'm going to show you so energy density let me use et to represent it the formula is energy over volume okay so you know that energy has the same dimension as work so basically we are going to have i want to show you why the correct unit is kilogram per meter per second square okay so energy has the same dimension as work so the dimension of energy will be since work is force times distance okay over volume is length times b times height that's we have length cube okay so dimension of force is m l per time square 
line L over line cube. Okay, so when you simplify, you're going to have M L square by times square. Okay, over L cube. A lot of indices you subtract the powers, the length. So it's division. This will give you M L. 2 minus 3 per time square. So the final result will be m l equal negative 1 per time square. Alright, so here in this question, we're not dealing with dimension. So let's represent them with a standard unit. So the unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of length, length is measured in meter. So we have per meter. And the unit of time is seconds per second square. So that's why the correct option is option A. So it's as simple as this. This is basically like an interior problem involving dimensional physical quantities for your jam physics. Hope you learned something interesting from this video. Again, if you don't understand the foundation, the basis of dimension, I recommend that my video take it in the making some properties of matter playlist of this channel. You will see it, watch it, and you will be glad you did. Let's go to the video guys. If you are new to our channel, ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Also like, share and comment on this video. Let me know if you have what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions ask again what I've talked about in this video, feel free to give your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. Alright, now I click on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.